Hi Taurus, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the week of the 6th to the 12th of April 2020. I'm using the Fairy Lenamon deck and I'm using the Mythic deck, the Tea Leaf uh, cards, the Surrender cards and the Inspiration cards and the Charms. So it's going to be an extensive reading. Up to now they've been quite surprising, especially Aries. I couldn't get the hang of Aries but when I went on in the story or the reading it came to life hey, your reading last week was really great apparently because you um, you all reacted really really posit uh, positive you were the highest out of the, all the readings so let's see what this week will bring and there is something uh, I've got to tell you there is uh, something new we're in the new system at long last uh, YouTube has switched over from the old to the new and this also applies to you viewers whether you're a cyber angel or a new viewer make sure that you've, you're still uh, you're still a member of your favorite channels doesn't matter which is if it's this channel or your other any other channel uh, because there is a choice that you can make when you hit the bell subscribe when you subscribe and you hit the bell then you get three choices you can put it in private then you don't get notifications or only of channels of your private choice you'll have to try that out I don't uh, get uh, notifications if I put on private you have to put it on the choice all if you um, hit all then you'll get notified perhaps that has been the issue why you haven't been notified okay Millie is a bit being a bit boisterous with Matis hold on sorry sorry I'm sorry darlings I wish you could be here and see this when the dog and cat play the dog thinks the cat is a dog and the cat thinks it's a dog and <laughs> Millie is busy with her toy sorry it makes me laugh anyway uh, that's that's the news so I hope you will subscribe if you're new to this channel and hit the bell and then the choice to all okay and welcome back my cyber angels thank you very much for sharing the videos with family and friends I do appreciate it I'm really grateful and I hope everybody will hit the subscribe button and the bell and hit it on all okay let's get started my darlings and I do go live for those uh, that are, n are new I go live uh, on Monday Wednesday and Friday and you, you can have free cards but you can also do super chats and super stickers and thank you for those that do give me uh, the super chat or super sticker they start at 99 cents thank you for your support I really am grateful and I use the money to buy new decks uh, the first card that you have is the mountains and of course the mountains means don't make um, an elephant out of a fly or don't make an elephant out of from a mouse you've got number 21 I'm not going to use the cartoon uh, uh, side of the deck I'm just because they've already got so many decks on the table I just want to give more and do something else I like to keep it exciting and so it's also visual for you um, for the reading for the week not just one card with three meanings or four meanings but uh, that's like I, I can do that as well because you can see I have so much in a card a picture says a thousand words literally and uh, figuratively well I'll just uh, you can have a meaning of this you can have the meaning numerology where you've got 21 that's three that's creativeness that's creation okay and then you can see lots of lights so there's still light at the end of the tunnel this is how I read cards besides my own gifts there are basic meanings for every card but I, I listen to my intuitiveness my guides um, and uh, that is how I work to me the pictures speak more than just what you see I'm I see interpret differently than the next reader or perhaps you and that's why it's always good to get advice because from a reader if you need it because they see things differently than yourself 
so if you don't want to get a reading from a, a reader or a medium or a psychic then there is always an other way talk to somebody get an other vision an other perspective now you don't have to climb the mountain and you don't see the fairy doing that she's not wearing climbing gear she's walking the path and she's taking her time she's not running you don't see her in the motion of running she's taking her time don't start panicking if there's deadlines to be met uh, because uh, you will be creative you've got 21 you will think of something so that you will get the job done you I won't go into but you can ask for help for instance you can uh, tweak and tweet it and then you can say yeah well you can have the eyes uh, dot the eyes and cross the T's boss but you know it is up to you if you want to meet the deadline fine I can do that but it won't be as good as uh, it won't be as good as it can be you've got the world as the clarification card you will be going you might be going up the next level like a promotion in a job um, because you're sticking to deadlines or because you take your time and you make it perfect okay so you will have recognition and you can go up a level this could also be um, in a relationship going up to a next level um, so long you don't make issues out of nothing uh, it is never uh, positive if you are starting to make issues don't see problems where there aren't any there's always a way and a means so long you keep on communicating and say what you want and what you would like and find out what they like um, be the nurturing be nurturing or be business like in this deck this is a pagan deck you've got not only the woman doing balancing act in the world in the world card but we've this is definitely showing our feminine and masculine side so if you need to be business like then be business like if you need to be caring nurturing passion and loving and sensual and sexy then be like that you've got all the elements in you and with you and around you this card is saying also something has come full circle and there's a new beginning a new face and an ending of a face you might be traveling um, you might be moving home that could be it as well going from an apartment to a house with a garden Ooh, and this is also my karma card so karma if you've done good you'll get it back if you've done bad you'll get it back threefold if somebody's done you wrong they'll get it back threefold now you've got the dice I don't know whether you can see it but it represents a dice so you can take a gamble and you've got the grapes time to go out and have fun so that could be meaning a short break or going out to dinner or going on holiday well perhaps if you can't travel if you are on lockdown then take a gamble you can perhaps take a trip to the mountains or to the beach see whether there is still a hotel open okay that is if you can move and otherwise I would suggest start making plans take that gamble so when everything has passed then you can go take that gamble okay that could be the problem that you're seeing that you are locked down and you can't move you can't go to the mountains okay well see take a gamble and see if you can in some other way but the snake is there so I don't think you can so start making plans things are going to shift make a visionary board and it will shift because everything keeps on turning this time will come to an end sooner than we realize just enjoy the time if you are with somebody with your partner um, that uh, things can only get better you've got number seven so that's luck but you have a warning here something it might not seem what it is so that is a warning also signing with signing contracts if you are moving from an apartment to an house with a garden 
there might be something shifty because the devil is here as well and the devil is shifty anyway so be warned there's also the devil is holding on to a couple here they've got their hands free you can see they're trying to run but he's pulling the strings so the devil uh, usually traditionally basically means uh, addictions addictions um, addictions uh, what else uh, bam. Uh, addictions but to me it means bad habits it's not only addictions addicted to alcohol or drugs or whatever um, the devil can be somebody mean and the devil is um, uh, somebody that is manipulative uh, the devil is also Capricorn the devil also uh, represents Capricorn so there might be somebody in your vicinity uh, that is a Capricorn uh, Taurus uh, it is also an earth sign um, so it could be somebody that is a Capricorn that is is manipulating you or that you feel beholden to it could be your partner but could be anybody else as well anyway the devil is somebody that is um, manipulative so nobody should manipulate anybody especially not in a relationship or a, a boss should not manipulate you if you don't meet the deadline I want you to do this then you'll be fired no that's not the way to treat people and a boss is not allowed to do that anyway but nobody is allowed to tr manipulate anybody and perhaps you might feel beholden on to somebody um, but you shouldn't you should be your you should have equilibrium balance in a relationship so break free you've got your hands free so break free okay Um, <coughs> and if somebody does have a bad habit or a, a, an addiction to something, to a substance, then make sure they get help. You have the mountain road and here we see the mountain road as well. So mountains are quite imperative to you. You are on the road to success. Yes, if you don't make issues out of, if you don't make mountains out of molehills, if you don't make it bigger than what it really is. Now, you've got the dog on this. Now you can take the dog in two ways. Okay, it looks a bit like a Scotty. It's a bit square, and it reminds me of a terrier, an Airedale, a Welsh terrier, a Scotty. So they usually ha ha are uh, trimmed the face is usually trimmed quite squarely so you you might want a dog and you want to do and or a dog depends on you and you're attached to a dog that can be also um, uh, you can't be without a dog so yes you are you are addicted to animals um, but it's not sometimes it's not very good to be over um, yeah I mean it, any addiction is bad but a dog does depend on you, you know, but don't use it as an excuse. Um, yes, I know we have dogs that help us when we have anxieties, they, we call them help or support dogs, yes, but that is not an addiction and nobody should see that as an addiction. Some of us need uh, something to support us. Okay, that, so if somebody is shy in that sense or is stressful or is anxiety driven or anything like that then that could be the help they need uh, a dog a best friend because the dog is loyal and trustworthy you know um, perhaps that's an idea for this could be just one person in the millions that I read for this might be just what the cards or the divine uh, orchestrated for you to know okay you don't have to be uh, there for let's say it's your child your child you don't have to be there 24 7 for your child you could get a support dog that is um, 
that is the warning because I see the snake as a warning there is a snake in the grass it is your snake okay your um, how do you call it I can't get the words out um, the snake is a warning but you also see the snake on medical emblems it also means to me health this the snake changes its skin every six weeks so it means refresh yourself don't be a slave to something or anybody break free if somebody uh, is dependent on somebody or codependent on you then seek help you need perhaps a help a help animal a support animal like if somebody is blind you don't have to uh, be on their leash like this devil is you don't not have to be on their leash you can get a guide dog you can get a uh, somebody to help and support to be a good mate a good buddy that is what a dog means this could also be that there could be a dog coming into the family not only that you might realize that a friend is loyal and trustworthy because that's what the dog means in Lenaman and you are on the road to success okay so the this could be a message just for one person for all the tourists that I read for in Friday you have the cross you are thinking you are too much in your head or you might be depressed you've got crosses to bear like everybody you've got a cross to bear my mum used to say if everybody threw their cross on a pile you would still pick your cross because you know what your cross uh, means and how to cope with it okay you've got number seven so you've got luck on your side and you've got 36 here and that's a nine so there is an a cycle ending this week definitely where there is an ending there is also a new beginning there could be disagreements but they are short-lived because you've got the five of ones but the five of ones also means competition there might be competition around you with regards to um, situations okay if you are buying a house for example there could be competition there could be somebody else stepping in and making an offer on the house so that is the competition that could be also the snake warning you be careful okay now you've also got the heart star so a wish is coming true and it's on the shield and the shield usually means protection you need to defend yourself okay that is uh, that is listen to good advice to a loyal friend break away you need to protect yourself yes definitely if somebody is manipulative and somebody being a boss or if somebody's got bad habits if it isn't you and your wish is coming true so you can defend yourself you see the five of wands here these uh, young uh, guys this are joisting and they are fighting competition but they are learning to protect themselves you have learned to protect yourself you've thought about it you've made a decision you see the warnings and you have faith in yourself you can stand strong um, not only faith but um, you can trust yourself this negative situation or issue is coming to an end on at Saturday and Sunday you've got news coming because you've got the birds and it's number 12 1 and 2 means create uh, 3 and that's creativity be careful of gossip this could all uh, this could uh, cause arguments and uh, disagreements somebody's left the group 
or left the coop. The coop is like a, a name for a hen house and this is my saying somebody's left the group or the coop okay so somebody might have left and they might have seeked help and they are leaving for a while that is what it could be somebody um, is uh, getting taught how to work with a guide dog or a support dog to free you uh, so they're no, not no longer codependent on you this could be the good news that they are receiving a dog in some cases or you they are receiving treatment the, uh, it could be uh, the grant is approved good there is place for them to learn to start again and to depend uh, on themselves and to be no longer codependent look at this this is a transformational period so this is transformational news definitely news positive news new beginnings are exciting and the unknown is scary but it is good news it could also be that there is a cat coming into your life because you've got a heart you've got love and prowess the word prowess comes up in mind love my cats and you've got the footprint here somebody's left a footprint behind perhaps and um, they've touched your heart but you could also be getting a cat you've got the stalk news of a birth or a new business opportunity like I said you're getting news it's new and here you are you could find out you're pregnant or that you are becoming an aunt or a, uh, you are a mum now um, or that you might you might hear the news of a kitten being born that you've been waiting on news is coming to you there might be an extension in the family it could be a dog or a cat or both lovely news lovely 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 something soft and cuddly that's what I'm hearing you've got the seven of ones you can defend yourself and that is what it means and you can also stand your ground wow and here you've got the stalk again and here you are this is number 17 that's the money house and the strength house so this money might be coming in and uh, you are standing in your strength look at this defending yourself standing your ground learning how to shield yourself and that is what you're doing there's going to be a 360 degrees turnaround you're no longer uh, being manipulated or being uh, used as a codependent or you're not being codependent because there is something happening something new this could be a birth a birth of a person a birth of a dog or a cat or a birth of a friendship a birth of a new job a birth to a new start of some kind moving home you've got the world and you've got the stalk they both mean mean moving home perhaps that is the new uh, new that's the news of transformation going from one to another and perhaps you're moving from an apartment to a house and garden so you can extend your family by buying a dog and a cat awesome you can take the risk because you've got the dice now Taurus you surrender to play yes be more playful break free from uh, habits and routines that aren't of any use to you let your inner child come out take a break from overthinking a goal here you are overthinking do something fun play is a time of recreation and 
rejuvenation so let your inner child come out go out to play alone or with your partner okay ask for God's help or if you don't believe in God ask for the force or the divine's help in the private quiet prayerful moments when you ask for divine assistance you need not beseech God to help defeat others right you need not beseech God to help defeat others in any way instead you might pray like this dear God or dear divine make me an instrument of thy love I want to be like you I have forgotten them I have forgotten them and I have forgiven them okay in other words let me be strong be shielded you have told me teach me how to be strong and self-sufficient okay this is a big message <laughs>